Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now here in the UK we're in the middle of a heat wave and I've had a few questions online from people worried about the best way to water their plants to avoid damage and to make sure that the heat wave doesn't completely destroy the gardens. So I thought I'd do a very quick video on how and when to water your plants. So when you're in a heat wave or you've suddenly got a burst of hot weather, the issue with plants like these new ones behind me is that they are releasing moisture through their leaves in a process called transpiration far faster than they can get it from the soil. And if the soil is dry or there's not enough moisture content within the soil structure, they're going to struggle, start to wilt and then get stressed. One of the myths is that if you water the leaves of a plant they can act like tiny magnifying glasses and burn the plant. But in the wild these plants aren't really choosing exactly when they're going to get wet from the rain. So that's kind of a massive myth and there's only a few plants with say hairy leaves or big sort of goblet shaped leaves where that could possibly happen. In my experience I've never really seen it. So the best way to water your plants is either with a watering can or a hose and what I tend to do is go right down to the base. There's no point wetting the leaves. Yes, it may slow down transpiration, but it's just a waste of water and that will evaporate. So even if it's the middle of the day and it's red hot, the best way to water is down at the base and give the plant a really good soak. Because a lot of that water is going to diffuse through the soil and be missed. So you're kind of needing to overwater so that, to give the plant the best chance of taking up that moisture. common mistake is to use a hose pipe and just go all the way across your plants for a couple of minutes and think job done. The majority of that water is going to evaporate, it's just being wasted. So go right down to the base and water the roots and you've got the best chance of giving the plant the drink that it so desperately needs. So there's another urban myth that you can only water at the crack of dawn or last thing at night to save the roots rising up and getting fried. Again, it's an urban myth, it just does not happen. The most important thing is that you water thoroughly. If you give a shallow water into a plant, then the roots will stay close to the plant, they won't go out to try and find more water sources. And this is especially true in new plants. So it's better to give things a thorough soak once a week than a little every couple of days. Another myth is that a sprinkler like this one are more efficient than watering by hand. Now they are efficient in terms of time because you can set them off, go and do something else around the house, but in terms of actual water quality you're going to waste an awful lot with a sprinkler. A lot of it's going to go all over the foliage, nearby grass, paths, you're not going to be able to spot water with one of these. So it will save you time but in terms of wasting water and actually getting to the roots I wouldn't recommend it unless you've got really large beds to water. So another point to mention is plants in pots. Now they're going to need a lot more moisture than plants in the ground because they're limited as to how far their roots can grow to find more moisture. So if you put your finger in the plant pot and it's dry, it needs a good water. If it's damp, you can leave it alone. But do check on your potted plants because they really are at the mercy of you and how well you water and look after them. So there we have it, my speedy guide as to what to do in a heatwave to water your plants. And yes, I know a lot of it is common sense, but as always with the internet, there's so many myths out there, I thought it was about time that the Garden Ninja gave you the truth once and for all. If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up, ask what you'd like to know about plants in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer you back. I've been Garden Ninja, I'm off for a nice cold ice cream, happy gardening.